Good afternoon, YouTube. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple things. The first thing is, I want to take you guys on a ride along. I actually got my uh, a load back to Georgia. I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous video, but I was at the Gary OC. And uh, <clears throat> I spent the night there. I had to pick up a relay. I didn't get there till like 3 in the morning. So... You know, I did my thing, took a shower, uh, you know, tried to edit a couple videos and stuff like that. <clears throat> but uh, with that being said, I had a relay I had picked up today at 6 in the morning. And uh, they set me for a delivery in Georgia, man. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, and <clears throat> so... Taking advantage of the time that I'm driving, I want to talk to you guys and let you guys know I actually talked to my DBL yesterday and like uh, I mentioned it to you guys before, I was going to talk to her and just, you know, basically talk about my future here at Snyder. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I laid down a hammer, man, you know, I, I don't mean in a bad way, I didn't, I didn't do it like, you know, being mean or anything, but I basically told her like, look, you know, at 40 cents a mile, it's not working out for me. And I was presenting an opportunity. So I had this opportunity for a while now. That's why I've been telling you guys I have something coming for you guys in January. But it was the unknown for quite some time though, even though I mentioned it, because there was still that possibility that it could fail and not happen. But <clears throat> I confirmed with that person yesterday and we're, we're still uh, uh, looking into doing it. Um, so with that being said, um, I basically told her that I was quitting. It's happening, man. I'm quitting. And dude, I kind of feel bad because she was sick, man. <clears throat> she was, uh, her voice was like really bad, man. Her voice was gone, dude. Man, I'm only going 40 miles up this hill, dude. And they got this big old cars out here, man. Just passing me like nothing, dude. That's the one thing I don't like about these. Uh, I feel like I caused an accident right now, dude. Like there's people behind me, like semi truck just flying by, you know. And look at this. There's a four wheeler coming in, hot. Now he has to merge into the other lane now. It's crazy. I don't know, man. I just don't like that I'm limited, you know. But anyway, so yeah. So when I told her I was quitting, she was just kind of like, "What is this guy doing?" <clears throat> Man, he looked at me mean. He looked at me mad. <laughs> but so <clears throat> when when I told her she was, you know, her voice was like gone. Like it was like bad. Dude. She was sick or something. But as soon as I told her, she, she tried to ask me like, you know, like why, you know, like why is it that they're offering you, you know, and like. And so I kind of explained to her a little bit. I didn't go into detail. So I just told her to look at 40 cents. It's just not going to work out for me. Uh, you know, and so they, uh, they offered me, uh, you know, more money over there. And, you know, as soon as I said that, she was just like, you know what? I understand. I don't blame you. You know, it's all about the money, you know. And it really is, man. You don't work just for free, right? No, you work for a living. And at 40 cents a mile, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be. So I got things to do. Like, I have to buy a house. I want to buy a house, I want to purchase my own car, my own semi-truck. And so at 40 cents a mile, like, I feel like I'm going to be living check check by check, man. So, so anyways, man, so she felt bad, you know, and I felt bad. You know, it was a bittersweet moment. But, you know, she told me that she appreciated me for the time being. And she wished me good, you know, good luck anywhere I go. And then I told her the same, you know, I said thank you for everything. Um, this this uh, DBL, her name is Reba. If you go with Sh Schneider, you get her if you're in uh, Georgia. Um, <clears throat> she honestly cares about the driver, man. And I'm not saying it just to say it. It's the honest truth. Um, <clears throat> she, she really, truly cares about the driver. And, um, you know, like, when I was upset, you know, for certain things that were happening to me at Schneider, my first week and even my second week you know she she was upset with me you know like not at me but with me because uh it was not right with uh what they were doing 
So with that being said, man, you know, if you get her, man, you'll be in good hands. And uh, she tried fixing things for me. And uh, I can say that this last week was definitely a lot better. <clears throat> you know, I think I'll be over 2,000 miles by the end of this run. And if they give me another run, you know, before the end of the day, Friday, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, I'll be close to like, you know, 2,200 or something like that. Um, but anyway, so with that being said, uh, you know, it was a bittersweet moment, man, because uh, I appreciate Snyder for everything I went through, you know, in the, the school, you know, the six weeks, all the students that were in the class with me, man, they honestly made it that much uh, easier for me. And, uh, you know, all in all together, I think, man, like according to some of the instructors, I think we were like, we we're probably like, one of their most outgoing school or class because um, mostly all students are quiet um, but anyway so with that being said like I you know like I've already mentioned to you guys I'm quitting Snyder it's actually happening man I'm actually gonna quit Snyder who would have thought man right well I thought about it you know because I already knew that if I didn't land a good job here I was gonna have to have plan B and I have plan B in the back pocket but you know it's actually happening guys so tell me in the comments below what do you, what do you guys think about this do you guys think i'm crazy for doing this this is literally three weeks three weeks three weeks in after i graduated um so tell me what you guys think uh was it too soon did i make the right choice tell me what you guys think put it in the comments below it would be interesting to see what uh to hear what you guys have to say um, but again, <clears throat> uh, regards to the my next uh, uh, journey, uh, I'll probably make a video when the time comes. Uh, I'm supposed to be starting next this literally this following week on this following week on Monday. So the ball goes well. We start Monday. Worst case scenario, he said Tuesday. But with that being said, put it in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that for this for this. Uh, uh, time being um i'm gonna record a little bit as i'm driving but when i get to my uh destination which is going to be either a rest area or a gas station um i'll update you guys again just to let you guys know uh how many more miles i have left i'm down to 409 miles from over 800 um so so yeah i'll update you guys in just a bit so with that being said i'll talk to you guys in a little bit <laughs> These people right here were asking me to blow the honk, blow the horn. Uh, that car right here on the left, you can't see it right now, but uh, they were asking me to blow the horn. Hey, that's pretty cool. Anybody that hears this video, man, if you're a rookie or if you're looking into it, man, use your J brake. You have to use your J brake, man. It's not an option. It's not like whether you want to or not. It's there for a reason. Use your J brake before you use your brakes. One thing I, I really don't like is when I pass an exit and I was, you know, looking for a place and I didn't see anything, you know, before I got to the exit. And then I get to the exit and I'm passing it. I see like a bunch of semi trucks, you know. And then sometimes there's certain gas stations or areas where I just don't see myself, you know, looking at it and just be like, all right, that's a good spot. Let me get out so I can go and, you know, go rest or whatever. But then I see a bunch of trucks out there. I'm like, how do they do it? And so that's one thing that I want to get better at, you know, like I want to be able to know, like, I want to get to the point where regardless of what exit I take, I will be okay. You know. Uh, so that being said, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So I just got off an exit. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know where I'm at, to be honest. But uh, I wonder if this is Nashville. There's like a big, big downtown area over there. I don't know if you can see the big buildings or not. But uh, I saw a Loves, so I got off. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, man. Um, hopefully, I don't make a mistake today like I did the other day. But I'm trying to find a low station, take my 30 minute break because I'm down to like under 30 minutes now. So, with that being said, 
I ain't trying to get a violation. Uh, so I'm trying to find this Love's gas station, and I think I see it on the right. Oh, noise me! Proceed south on I-65 south in three quarters of a mile. Exit left. You can stop. All right, but see, let's see. Uh, where's the truck entrance? See, that's that's probably the most important question right there. You know, where is the truck entrance? So, am I able to take a right here? Nope. Nope. So, where is it? It might be on the other side. Not. I'll take a right right here. Nope. It's right here. Right on. After I take my 30 minute break and after I put gas and I'm ready to rock again, I will catch you guys on the next one. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So we are ready to go. My 30 minute break is due. I mean, it's over <clears throat> and I'm ready to rock. So I still have 284 miles to go. <clears throat> Let's just hope that. I got three and a half hours on my clock. You guys think I can make it? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it, but <clears throat> at least I'll be very, very close somewhere in Georgia. Damn, I should have gone. <clears throat> too many cars, I'm too heavy. And it's a very tight turn, so I have to go wide. <clears throat> I ain't trying to cause an accident either, so it's better to wait. I'm gonna take up my uh, turn signal because it's kind of annoying <clears throat> damn why do I have a bad feeling I'm gonna be here for a while my, my clock is ticking man I gotta go come on people let me go all right hopefully after this car coming in I can go by the looks of it it looks like I can go so let's go <clears throat> come on oh my way <clears throat> Damn, I went hella wide right there, man, but I had to. Had no other option. <clears throat> so in like downtown areas like this, man, <clears throat> it can it can get pretty sketchy, dude. Like <clears throat> Like super sharp, sharp turns, you know, and stuff like that. So I gotta take a right turn right here. Super tight turn, man. I'm gonna do a bun hook right here, man. Oh, Jesus. What's behind me? What happened? I didn't do anything. Oh, man, this is... This is a different experience. I've never done this before. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up a little bit. I'm gonna do a bun hook, so I'm um Do I even need to do a bun hook? <clears throat> maybe, maybe not. What is going on here? Go for it, Doug Live. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't get in trouble. Right, Dickerson Pike. Hey, it wasn't that bad. <clears throat> I was getting a little scared because of the. Uh, I saw a bunch of posts and poles. 
What is going on here? Why is people in the middle of the street just talking? Come on, people. Move it. Should I just get over or what? <clears throat> Did they crash? What is going on? Come on. Go out of the way. Is there a, I don't know why I want to say Cincinnati. Is that even in Tennessee? Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> go around these dudes right here. They're a little too slow. <clears throat> See, like, <clears throat> here's a bridge right here, right? I'm like, always scared thinking like oh what if i hit what if i hit what if i hit but the freaking gps is telling me to go through here so i better not hit you know what i mean like damn <clears throat> so i can't wait till i buy me a garmin uh gps uh versus like the tablet you know like one thing that i can do on on the tablet is like set my route to go to my next destination like the drop off or pickup location and then set a uh, in the way set a like a stop for like a gas station Turn and be left very and specific. Exit on the right. You know, like be very, very specific about it. Like, uh, I want it to be like a pilot. You know, I want to set it on there, and I want it to find me um, <clears throat> pilots down the road. Like, let's say I say like 300 miles down the road, find me a pilot. You know, and boom, boom or a love gas station or whatever. <clears throat> that would be pretty cool, right? Like, I don't know if the garments do this already or not, but hopefully they do because this tablet sucks, man. That's that's one thing I'm not going to miss from Snyder is a tablet, the GPS on the tablet, and, you know, <clears throat> dealing with, like, uh, being limited and all that stuff. What? That's not right. Oh, man. I got a red light. That was quick. I should have just kind of gone for it, but... So Schneider tells you don't <clears throat> wait half, oh man, I was just about to say don't wait halfway and then take a left, wait for your green light, and I was about to just go halfway and wait for the, you know, to clear, but it turned red on me. So there we go, man, <clears throat> there we go. All I gotta do right after is get on that highway real, real quick, as soon as I take this left, get on the highway ASAP, and then I'm... Um, basically back on board man so uh <clears throat> just wanted to update you guys again um down to 282 miles three hours and 15 minutes on the clock i will talk to you guys soon i'll talk to you guys when i get a chance okay when i get to my last final stop for the day whether i get to the location the delivery area or whether i have to stop at a gas station or rest area but anyways i will talk to you guys soon Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube family. How are you guys doing? Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update because last night I did not record when I got to my rest area. But um, I actually stopped at an actual uh, weight station, a DOT weight station. Uh, some of them, if not all of them, uh, <clears throat> they have... Uh, parking spaces available where you can just call it a night and that's exactly what I did but like I said I didn't really record it um, I kind of forgot to be honest but when I got there um, right away I started editing videos man I'm like backed up I have a total of three videos to make I've made one so far but I don't know they'll, they'll be coming out soon so you know hopefully I'll get them out by the end of the week today or the weekend actually I want to do it before I want to get them done today Friday <clears throat> uh, but anyway so I'm currently at 44 miles so that I can get to my drop-off area uh, in uh, McDonough Georgia uh, to the Nestle USA it's 44 miles left um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update uh, they already gave me another pre-assignment, so as soon as I drop this off, 
I'm ready to go on to the next one. And uh, holy smokes, that was at 72 miles right there. <clears throat> Let's just hope I don't get like a, a warning from Schneider or something like that. Um, but it, yeah, so they gave me another pre-assignment. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this one, I'm on to the next one. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they want to let me go easily, man. They're probably like, man, you want to quit on us? We're, we're going to make sure we work your butt off. But it's all good, you know? Like, I don't mind working all day today. Um, today, Friday, and uh, maybe tomorrow too, but I'd rather not so that I can go with my family. There are a couple of family events, so I want to be home today, actually. So, yeah. Man, it's crazy, man. This will be my last... The following assignment will potentially be the last load for Snyder, man, before I quit. That is crazy, and for sure, this will be definitely my last uh, work week for the year, man. So my last load will be probably today, man, before, you know, the end of the year. So bye-bye to 2021, man. That is... That is amazing, man. So with that being said, um, I'll update you guys when I get back. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so we are getting to the exit to get off the highway. I wanted to start today at 5 in the morning, but to be honest, after editing yesterday, I was a little tired. And I went to sleep like at one in the morning so I was like yeah you know what I think I should just chill <clears throat> so yeah I ended up just chilling or going to sleep I should say um, and instead of waking up at 5 in the morning I woke up uh, I mean instead of getting up 4.30 to leave at 5 I woke up at 5.30 to leave at leave at us uh, no it was like 5.45 and then I left um I started driving like around 6.30. Smooth, baby, smooth. Nestle court, keep right. Please use both lanes. Gate number one. Now here's the interesting part is knowing where the shipping and receiving area is. I like places like Walmart distribution centers because um, <clears throat> there's a security check in the front and they check you know your paperwork they check everything so I feel like it's a lot more smooth that way anyway so um let me figure this out real quick and then I will get back to you guys in just a bit all right so man this place is totally different than any other place I've ever been to um, whew, I was out there uh, sliding my tandem so if you ever go to a nestle delivery area just know that I don't know if they're all the same but this one here in Georgia in McDonough they ask you to slide your tandems all the way to the back before you proceed they check your seal number and they have you wear a vest so I was like damn man I got lucky boom well, I've, I've always had it with me, but you know, I, I never would have thought that they request you having a vest. You know, I thought it was just for school at Schneider, but it's a good thing I've been carrying it this whole time because uh, they had a sign on there that if you don't have it on, they won't be able to uh, service you. So they would have turned me back around and had me go home or go, go buy a vest or something. But um, anyway, so right now I'm just gonna uh, park the, the, drop the trailer. And then after that, uh, they have me write down the number where I'm dropping it at so I'm just gonna post up do my thing um, I'm probably just gonna park it right here all right there we are so I just finished dropping the trailer now I got to go find an empty and so I already I already pushed on the uh, the button here on the tablet where it, you know tells you to find the empty trailer that's actually what I'm about to go do right now. <clears throat> it's actually this very first one right here on the left, uh, but there's these people right here kind of blocking me. 
Um, so we will see if there is another one. I'll probably just go to the other side. That might that, that might be. And so it's neither the <clears throat> the bigger the number that it starts with. So you know, like if it's uh, TA157 versus TA140, the TA157 is, is more than likely gonna be a lot newer. You know, I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but here's a TA157. 280 so and then another thing that they tell you is just because on the tablet it says that they're empty it doesn't mean that they are so if you're gonna be working for Schneider you always always want to go check it first the back and if it has a seal do not open that seal um, you know unless you were instructed to do so but if you weren't don't open it <clears throat> um, see like this one has a Hold on a second. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go check the trailer real quick before I hook on to it. That's the last thing I want to do is hook on and then have to get off of it. So I'll be right back. All right, so both of these trailers, both of the trailers are actually, they actually have seals on them. So I just checked both of them. So I cannot take any of them. So what I'm going to do now before I press on the tablet that there's an exception and I have no trailer, I'm going to go to the uh, front uh, security check and ask them if they know if there's any uh, available Schneider trailers here. Um, so they might be able to tell me if there is, if there isn't. Because on my tablet, it only shows these two and they both have seals. So like I said, you do not want to tear open the seal to check in because more than likely it's full of products. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to drive to security and just see what they tell me. It's happened before where you know, you, you think it's, it's, it's available and people just literally, all they do is pull into it, hook up, they take off, and the next thing you know, like they're carrying an actual load with them. So I'm pretty sure security wouldn't have let me go on through. Um, but if in the event that security fails, you know, you're taking the load, an unloaded trailer to an area that you're not supposed to. So more than likely you're gonna have to drive back to it again or Schneider's gonna have to relay it back or something, you know? So you always want to check. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll see what happens, man. So let me see what security tells me, and then uh, we will go from there. How's it going now? Hey, how you doing? So um, I was looking for an empty trailer. Uh, on my tablet, I, I, had, I, I saw two available ones for Schneider, but they had the seal still uh, on, on intact, so you guys didn't have any uh, empties for Schneider here? No? Okay. It's all good. Sure. You want the uh, yep, white piece paper? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see. Where'd it go? Mm. Um, all I had to do was put the, the drop right, location. Just right? put the location where you dropped it in. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to you, too. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull over real quick before I take off. <clears throat> I just want to click on this button, uh, make sure that uh, I'm putting that there is no empty. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys in just a bit. All right, so man, that took a long time. That took like an hour, I think, or maybe a little bit more, but <clears throat> they uh, gave me a new assignment and they took away the uh, pick up the empty uh, task that I had to do and then I was able to proceed and you know upload my paperwork and all that stuff and then just get this task you know behind me and get it done you know um, so that it can go to uh, to payroll but <clears throat> you know they took it up they took it off then they gave me a new assignment but the assignment also had a drop of an empty so I'm like wait a minute like I don't even have an empty so so I had to, I called in again and I had to wait. So it took me about an hour, maybe a little bit more, but it is what it is. It's my last day. I don't really care, man. <clears throat> so with that being said, I got four miles to go pick up an empty at a Home Depot location. I don't know if it's a store or what, but we are about to find out. So 3.5 miles. I will update you guys as soon as I get there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 
I'll update you guys as soon as I'm getting close to the Home Depot so you guys can see what it looks like or whatever. Um, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so got less than a mile to go. I think it is an actual Home Depot store that I have to pick up an empty. Cross or I'm crossing my fingers that it I don't, you know, get the same BS that I got last time on my very, very first day out. You know, going everywhere looking for an empty trailer, man. It's my last day, so Schneider, please don't do this to me, man. Let me have a smooth day, you know? Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so less than half a mile now. And let's hope for the best. Hopefully I do have that trailer there, the empty trailer. So, <clears throat> man, 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 man. Friday, Friday, Friday. Towards the end of my career here at Snyder. Three weeks in and I'm throwing the towel in. But, in all reality. Look for your destination <clears throat> on the right. Destination on the right? What in the world? Okay, so it's not an actual Home Depot. It's a, like a lot. I don't know why it says Home Depot USA. Arrived at destination. Arrived at destination. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. This is different. This is new. Looks like a big, big yard, a big lot where they put a lot of different company uh, trailers. <clears throat> so... With that being said, let's go get that empty. I've never been here before, so I don't know what to expect. Put the window down real quick. <clears throat> so it's saying driver's license is telling me to Turn off my engine and insert my driver's license facing up. So I will get back to you guys in a little bit when I get this done. All right, so um, just came through. They ask you to scan your ID. Right when I was putting the ID in the slot, uh, I noticed that there was another ID. And dude, check this out, man. I was looking at the ID, you know, and I was telling the security person like, hey, I got an ID here, you know. I wouldn't get no, nobody because uh, <clears throat> nobody was talking back on that, uh, you know, radio or whatever. Um, but anyway, so <clears throat> I was looking at the picture and I was kind of looking at the name and I'm like, uh, and then I seen some some semi trucks, you know, passing by already on their way out. So I was just paying attention, you know, because it was taking a, a long time for me to for it to scan my ID and to approve me. And, it, you know, anyway, so <clears throat> while I was right there, um waiting i see this guy and i'm like oh shoot it kind of looks like him so i get off my vehicle and i go all the way over there before he left you know because uh he still had to check out i guess or something like that before you, you take off <clears throat> and then um i go up to him and i'm like hey are you so and so he was like what are you so and so i got an id right here he's like oh yeah 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 and you know i gave him the id i'm like damn like that was crazy who would have thought you know like I thought for sure like that person was already gone, you know, and I was going to have to turn it into security or whatever, but uh, luckily I didn't have to. <clears throat> and uh, hey, look at that, man. It's crazy how you can do a U-turn in here, man. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so. So, yeah, man, uh, that was actually kind of cool that I got to give this guy his ID. He just said thank you. And then I just went back to my truck. What is it? 15. Oh, 150. Oh, there it is. I just passed it. <clears throat> it's 150922. So let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So, anyways, just wanted to update you guys, uh, tell you that little story about that guy that, you know, forgot his ID. But I will talk to you guys uh, in just a bit when I start to head on out. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. So, got the trailer. I'm hooked up nice okay so now I'm going to Jefferson Georgia 89 miles so that's roughly around like an hour or two hours I mean 
uh, probably less than that if I like I said if I if I'm doing highway miles uh, 65 and, and, and up like 60 to 60 60 to 70 I do it in less time um, <clears throat> so yeah 89 miles to go to my next stop Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to open my doors because I have an empty. I closed them. I should have left them open. Um, yep, more than likely they're gonna ask me to open my my uh, uh, open my um, my trailer doors again. So that's another thing too. If you are going through a security check like this, um, there's a good chance that they're gonna want to. Uh, you know check the back so that you're not taking by mistake a uh, loaded trailer or something like that So yeah, I'm gonna pull forward, but uh, more than likely I'm gonna have to stop the video get out open my doors have them check it and then I can take off um, But I will talk to you guys in a little bit All right, so <clears throat> I couldn't record uh, at that one location. I picked up my uh, empty, but uh, my phone my phone keeps getting hot I don't know why but so I was like, yeah, whatever, it's all good, I guess, you know. Um, so I'm already getting here to the pickup, uh, uh, drop off empty location slash pickup loaded. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I just want to give you guys an update. Turn left to Toy Right Road. We're about to see what we are going to run into, man. <clears throat> Proceed west on Toy Right Road in 500 feet. Look for your destination on the left. 500 feet. Look for destination on the left. <clears throat> it's called Look the wreck, wreck it. The All trucks to the left. So I guess I will go to the left. Visitors, trucks. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we are gonna run into. Hello, how you doing? Are you picking up? I'm picking up a load. Uh, do you need the uh, BOL number, stuff like that? I need to pick up the one. It should start with an 828. 828? Yeah. 828-234-148. Do you know where the office is? I don't know. All right, between 31 and 32 on the right. Okay, so just go into shipping and receiving? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, can I just pull up to the side for now, I guess, while I... Yeah, you can pull to the right or the left side. Perfect, thank you. Now tell me where to drop off my empty and where to pick up my loaded trailer. So with that being said, <clears throat> I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Apparently, I had an appointment for 3 p.m. It's barely 1.02. Uh, to be honest, I didn't pay attention to that, but I don't know why they're giving me stuff like that right now. I, I, you know, they should have just... And it's not even paying a lot of money, man. It's like 152 miles. It's like $40. And it's going to take me more than three hours now because, you know, it's like almost three hours of driving then and then you know like now I got to worry about having to stay here for an additional two more hours hopefully they load it soon so man that's not even good man <clears throat> I'm not using my mic right now so I don't know if you guys can hear this very good or not but either way I'm just saying is that's not good man that is not good money at all whatsoever all right so that definitely took a long time I didn't get my load done until 3 p.m. that is a waste of time you know so that's one thing I'm not gonna miss from Schneider 
they had me do little runs like this. The little runs are the ones that get me. You know, because uh, it's 150 miles times 40 cents. It was like 40 bucks. Or 60 bucks here. Ah, I can't even think right now. But <clears throat> 40, 40 to 60 dollars. And I've been active on this load for more than, you know, five, six hours now. So it's definitely not worth it. If you do come out to Snyder, tell them that you want to get the long baby, long loads. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just gonna check out real quick. He's gonna check my uh, seal number and all that good stuff. And uh, more than likely, he's just gonna let me go and let's see if he finds anything wrong. I hope he doesn't. How you doing? Good, Pretty good. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, C2. <clears throat> and that is all she wrote, man. This is potentially the last delivery that I'll be doing for Snyder. Um, it's actually not going to be completed. It's going to be at their... Uh, it's a relay at their operating center. I am quitting Snyder. This is the last delivery of the year. This is the last load, man, for Snyder. That is so crazy, man. I bet you guys didn't see that coming, right? And if you did, put it in the comments below. I want to know. Like, I know I kind of gave it away in some of the videos, but I wasn't specific. I just said I had something up my sleeve. So, the last load with Snyder, man. <clears throat> You know, this company, like I said it before, I won't be the first and I won't be the last one to do this. And Snyder's not going to go broke either way. It's a big, big company. So, you know, for a very, very big reason, they're able to uh, afford, you know, like a training that's that inexpensive, uh, you know, pay the students to go to school provide hotel, provide transportation, uh, airplane tickets, they provide rental cars whenever the heck they need to, man. So they absolutely do everything for the driver, man, or the students. Um, they give you meals, they pay for everything, absolutely everything. But at the end of the day, they don't lose because all they do is write it off at the end of the year in the taxes as a loss. <clears throat> so, you know, all I gotta say is do whatever you guys uh, want in regards to whatever is gonna make you guys feel happy. You know, don't hold back. Now, I was holding back for this roofing company. I was there for almost three years, waiting and waiting on them. You know, they promised me I was gonna be the crane operator. I got the license, you know, I have a crane operating license, but not once after a full year, like a year and a half, did I ever operate a crane. So I got tired of waiting and, you know, the rest is history. You know, now I got my license, CDO license, and I'm working for Schneider. And I'm going to start a new job on Monday, hopefully. Worst case scenario, <clears throat> Tuesday. But what I'm ultimately saying is, don't wait around for a company, man. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Especially if your family depends on it, you know? If they're just not getting their things together, it's not worth it to hold on on them. You know what I mean? Like, it's not worth it. <clears throat> it's my last load, man. So I'm going to get to that OC. I'm going to drop off the relay. Submit the paperwork. Put the paperwork in the... Not submit the paperwork, but actually, yeah, I have to take pictures of it. But put the paperwork in the, uh, <clears throat> put the paperwork in the uh, <clears throat> relay box that's in the front of the trailer on the on the on the passenger side. And yeah, man, you know, transfer all my stuff. I'ma sanitize the heck out of this place. The only thing that sucks is that I don't have a vacuum. Um, and this place, I, the, the Gary OC man was full of dirt and it was nasty, man. So I brought in a lot of dirt but either way I know that whoever gets it uh, Schneider does a uh, you know they hire a company to come out and do a cleaning to it so 
at the end of the day, I'm not tripping out, I'm not worried. Uh, but I have sanitizing wipey, so I will sanitize the steering wheel, sanitize the dashboard, sanitize anything that I possibly touched and more, you know? Um, just because I'm quitting doesn't mean I don't give a crap. I do care, you know, like, uh, you know, <clears throat> you got to show, you know, that respect and stuff like that because the last thing you want, too, is to burn bridges, you know? You never know what the future holds, you know, and so at the end of the day, the last thing you want to do is burn a bridge that you can never, never get back to. And so for me, the bridge that would bring me back to Schneider would be like the, you know, the lease to own program through uh, SFI leasing. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but I think SFI requests for you to go through Schneider. If that's the case, then I don't want to burn my bridges. Either way, I don't want to burn it. But uh, if that's not the case, then, uh, you know, I'll hire my own brokers, get my own. Uh, well, this is in the future, right? Obviously, right now I'm going to be working for somebody else. In the meantime, well, I save money and all that good stuff. Hopefully I get paid good and I'll update you guys more on that. But what I'm saying is in the future, when I'm ready to start my own uh, authority, whether it's a lease to own purchase, uh, through, you know, the SFI and Snyder or... You know what I mean? Like, uh, maybe I just, uh, SFI allows me to go somewhere else and I, I don't have to go through Snyder. Get my own deals, better deals probably, because Snyder pays 65% of the load. Um, and don't quote me on this because I've asked a couple people that have retired from Snyder. Not retired, but they don't no longer uh, are owner operators. They said it's 65%. So, more or less, you know, I, and... To be honest, I, I don't doubt it because uh, Schneider being a big corporate company, they're always going to want to take a good chunk out of that, that money, you know? They're never going to give you 90% or 80%, you know? They're giving you 65%. So you're probably averaging like $2 to like $3 maybe, uh, uh, you know, per mile when you're a lease to own operator through them. And then they deduct, you know, the payment to the car weekly. They take out a like a small amount like 150 or 100 and something i don't know if it's weekly or every month i think it's weekly but they take that out just in case it's like a savings account in case your vehicle breaks down you know you have a little cushion to use and you can use that money now if you never use that money they say that you it's yours you know basically if you if you're done with the lease home program and you part ways with snyder you take that money with you man <clears throat> so whatever you accumulate, it's all it's all your money right there. Um, look, I, I'm gonna ask you guys for a favor. I don't really know all the programs that are out there as far as lease to own. I follow Ken V. <clears throat> he went through a, an actual like a financing company, so he didn't really go through an actual like a like a well SFI's finance company, right? But Snyder would be, you know the broker I guess the dispatcher <clears throat> Ken B didn't do that Ken B he went through an actual uh, finance company that have their own vehicles I don't know you know what they do how they get them they require a $5,000 down payment no credit check is required and all you have to do is have like an actual authority or put the vehicle under somebody else's authority and then you know you can go ahead uh, and go about it that way uh, but what I'm trying to say is, if you guys know of any company out there that is a lease to own program or finance company to own a vehicle that you know is very, very good and attractive, you know, uh, preferably that it doesn't have a balloon payment at the end, but if it does, it's okay because I know Ken V's program had a balloon payment at the end, but you're making so much money, man, it doesn't matter. You can pay it off at the end of the year. You just have to administrate your money very well. So with that being said, if you know any, any company out there, man, put it in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate you, man, if you do find a company that I don't know about. Um, but anyway, so I got 57 miles to go. I'll be at the Atlanta OC in just a bit. And I will update you guys when I get there. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. What is going on, YouTube? What is going on? <clears throat> my bad i forgot to record when i was uh getting off the freeway um i'm already inside the whole place i'm just uh waiting to make a left uh but i got some fellas out here doing their thing so uh, i gotta wait for them to move all right so there we go that was pretty much it
You got one that is uh, burgundy with like a matte black. And then you have that one with the silver grill, man. That one looks kind of nice too. And the silver mirrors on the hood mirrors and the side mirrors, man. Dude, I know a camera right now does not look, especially my phone sucks, but. It's a bittersweet moment. I'm leaving the company that helped me get my CDO Class A license. So, just wanted to update you guys, man. It feels a little weird to be honest, but at the same time, I know that it was for a good reason, and I'm excited to be honest. So, uh, but anyways, man, just kind of wanted to, you know, let you guys know I took everything out already, man. Everything, everything out. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I'm on to the next one, guys. I'm gonna be. Like I said, making an update in regards to my whole experience here from my training to my time, you know, I got my license, the six weeks, training engineer, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about everything, man. And then uh, the last three weeks that I've been working in regards to pay, I'm going to make a, a video uh, next Friday when I get my last paycheck because this week was supposed to be my best week out of all of them. The money I got paid this Friday garbage man terrible and i'm gonna give you guys <clears throat> an insight of what you can do because i didn't even get my guarantee pay i got like four or five hundred bucks it's terrible um i did work only three days <clears throat> but that was because they had me do a reset on sunday to monday it's a long story but anyway so i have a little uh, tip and advice for you guys if you're joining snyder so you can avoid what happened to me and you can always always get your guarantee pay uh, but that will be another video so anyways thank you guys so much for watching my videos i know that they're very very long and i apologize for that if you watch them all man i give you props because i've been trying to watch my own videos man and i fall asleep sometimes on my own videos I've, I've trying to edit them too and i'm like falling asleep so i'm like damn you know if you guys watch them thank you guys so much for watching them uh, i really truly appreciate all you guys comments uh you guys have been asking some very very good questions so keep up the comments man um you know spread the love Spread the word and uh, share the videos if you can. Like them, subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get paid.